what is up you guys it is over for us and welcome back to another episode of boom each today we're back with the task force tour i uh, have been a little bit slow on episodes like these because uh, very recently my tablet broke and i had to reinstall everything and even get it fixed so uh, i lost the footage of operation foxtrot and operation stronghold so we already did those but we're going to be redoing them so that way i'm able to show you guys what they're like so this time around last episode we did operation tinderbox unfortunately i don't got the rewards they weren't really all that amazing like you guys have probably seen the best of the rewards out there anyway but right now it is time to do operation foxtrot so here we go all right so uh all of a sudden i got 22 like messages or something like that i have no idea what's going on but as you guys can see today we got five bases five power bases that we need to take down and we're going to take a look at every single one of them and i don't really intend to make this episode too long because i'm just going to show you guys like the highlights of the attacks that we're doing starting off with paradox level 95 base with a chocolate here in the middle uh we've seen K paradox a couple of times the um uh, the most uh, easy part to take down Paradox is obviously by going to the left side, taking out these buildings, then making your way up to the rocket launchers that don't start firing until you're uh, uh, at this sniper tower or this cannon over there. So you can take them out without any issues whatsoever. This mortar will barely even reach the sniper tower, so you got nothing to complain about there. But, however, you gotta be making sure to stay out of range of that rocket launcher, because the rocket launcher is quite devastating. Then, of course, uh, as I already mentioned before, you got the shock launcher. We got a 220% um, building health. Bring it up to a little bit over half a million health on this power core. And just in general, it is relatively easy to take out this base. Uh, be a little bit careful with the boom cannons and stuff like that, so on and so forth. Then, level 100 base assembly. So base I have not really seen a whole lot, so I'm pretty curious to see what it looks like. Ooh, you got the power core all the way uh, lo lo uh, lo localized. I have no idea. It's, it's, it's located in the back. Located. It's located all the way in the back over here. He has like a little minefield around it, so that's gonna be dangerous. Uh, this is going to be a pretty tough one because you got a uh, you got this uh, shock launcher over there to consider, but then you also got the all of these rocket launchers. So I have no idea how we're gonna be going ahead and doing this. Oh, you even got four of these over there. Uh, this base is really crazy. I don't think we're gonna be able to take this one down then we're going to be moving on from assembly to mercury assembly mercury and mercury is actually uh like a very densely packed base however we are going to be trying to defeat this one you got the, a lot of these mines over here you guys already saw me do uh mercury before i took out every single one of the mines i had my only rifleman troop combination here and i took all of the power cells over here so uh, that is a way to go around doing that. Of course, you got these rocket launchers to consider as well over here and over here and one over at the left side. And then you got a couple of boom cannons that are going to be pretty devastating as well. Make sure you take those out before you make your way up to the base. This is a harder version of assembly. Uh, that's one thing for sure. If you want to go around the left side, then um, you are going to be facing this rocket launcher. You might want to be taking that one out before you make your move up to the left backhand side. Um, other than that, really nothing to worry about that much. Well, I'm saying that right now very easily. But yeah, let's move on to Dredge. Dredge. Let's see what this one's going to be all about. And we got a, a base uh, that is located in the left side. And um, if you take out these uh, rocket shock launches over there, you're in for a good position, I suppose. So yeah, that is uh, another way to go around doing that base. And then Machina, last but not least, Machina. Crazy base as always. is always located in the left back side or the front side. And as you guys can see, you see all of these rocket launches over here that are actually pretty easy to take out. But then you got rocket launches over here as well. And over here. And over here. And over there, there's so many rocket launchers. I've never seen anything like that. But yeah, that is really crazy. So uh, you might want to be trying to beat this one by taking out the uh, the rocket launchers first. And then uh, shock launchers, of course. And then make your way up to the base with heavy Zuka or just tanks or something like that. But yeah, you will be fired upon. So that is definitely something you should take into consideration. Alright, so let's give the signal there. Let's go. Attack. Boom. Attacks. Again with the X. Again with the X. So, uh, I'm really curious to know how people are going to be attacking uh, the first one. 
Again, the axe, yeah, Shasha was right about that. <laughs> We're going to be waiting until the very first one is going to be attacking. Oh, wait, Sam is right now attacking Machine, and let's just see what he's going to be doing against this base. So, I'm really curious to know what kind of, uh, like, troop combination that he's going with in this one. And, uh... I'm really, I'm, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, I, I will be really surprised if we're managing to take out three of the bases. That would be pretty badass. He took out a good bunch of the mines really, so that was nice placement over there. Ooh, you might want to be careful there. Where's the smoke? No, <laughs> this is useless. Where's the smoke, buddy? Did you forgot to smoke your warriors? Oh my god, didn't stand a chance. What was that all about? Oh my god, LOL from Shasha, yeah. Let's see for one thing for sure. You want to be making sure to actually smoke your units. At least you had some good mine clearance for sure. <laughs> wow, really, don't attack Machina. Yeah, I, I will have to agree with that. Oh, Adam is actually going for Paradox right now. Let's see how he's going to be going ahead and do this. Because uh, that's going to be pretty interesting to watch as well. Because Paradox is a base you can actually... Uh, we need to take out nicely if you go from the left side. You want to be taking out those rocket launchers over here for sure. Uh, I'm just going to fast forward this so that way you guys could go ahead and watch. And I'll uh, give you guys my thoughts and my opinions at the end. That was a mistake smoking just in advance that is uh, yeah that's something that you you're not always taking into consideration you're thinking like hey I'm smoking the units what you want to be doing if you're doing that smoke the zookas alone and not the heavies because otherwise you know your zookas are gonna be history especially if you only cover the heavies so what we're seeing right now is actually uh, I think this first rocket launch will be taken out it's going to take a while for it to happen or the units are getting a ton of damage. And uh, I think Shasha knows exactly what happened down there. That is really quite unfortunate. Can he take it out? Do you got some artilleries or something like that in order to make it up there? I believe one more hit from the Zuka. Yes, indeed, he took it out. At least one rocket launcher gone. So that was a very nice attack. So that being said, we've done uh, six attacks right now. And I'll meet you guys back again once we've done way more of them. So like a day or so later, we're tuning in with Mass, uh, Mass actually attacking right now, having the Warriors all the way, uh, going up to the rocket launchers, as you guys can see, actually taking out a water low, or trying to take it out, and uh, uh, 112? I seem, I think it's a mistake that uh, Boom Beach is showing right now, because, you know, as you guys can see at the left top corner, it shows water low. And that is not the base. Obviously, we already know it was a different base. It was called Paradox from Operation Foxtrot. And, um, yeah, it seems to be there's a little bug down there. So, I'm going to be reporting that towards Supercell. But let's just uh, watch a few more of these attacks. So, Roby right now. Uh, we got Mobo. We got S uh, Sabai. And we got EA Games actually taking it out. So, let's just go ahead and actually skip to the part where we're going to be taking out this base. Because I'm pretty sure we had a few interesting attacks. So, as you guys can see, we took out 
of these buildings around here and uh, yeah from this point of forward it is just actually uh, dropping either like some barrages or making your way up to the base so let's actually see what we took out we took some of these buildings out we took out all of the rocket launchers we took out the shock launch I don't know for sure if it was already taken out and all of the buildings in the front down there and as you guys can see uh, EA Games actually making his way up to the base and in a couple of seconds it's just gonna go down 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 and down there you go <laughs> so got a little bit ahead of myself so that was a very nice way of taking out the base let me actually count the attacks that we needed in order to take out the base so right now we're on stronghold that is uh, for tomorrow's episode so you guys get a little sneak peek here but we're doing relatively well i suppose uh we needed one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 attacks in order to take it out next base we took out is actually called dredge and we already had a couple of attacks in but let's just see what the next one is going to be doing who actually took down a few buildings mucha chachi with his level 14 warriors 42 of them actually going ham on the on this base got exactly 500 medals and there you go, the game took a while to load up, but as you guys can see over here, we need to take out the left hand side, and I'm really curious to know what Mucha Chachi is going to be taking out. So he's making his way up to the power cell, drops the flare onto the shock launcher, got to be careful there with those mines, doesn't seem no issue at all, so I'm really curious to know how he did this. And he drops the shocks, the second shock especially, gets six of the buildings, actually seven of the buildings, all of the boom cannons, all of the uh, machine, uh, that one machine gun, and four of these flamethrowers. And as you guys can see over here at the left side, he's doing a tremendous job, so actually taking out the power, uh, the shock launches, and this was a, a massive blow. And uh, I think he dropped an artillery but didn't come through. So yeah, that was another thing. So that was a very, very impressive attack of Muchachachi. Gonna be moving on to uh, Adele Whale. We haven't seen him attack before. And he's using Grenadiers and Medics. Now that's going to be interesting because uh, let's just see how he's going to be going ahead and doing this. Kind of have the feeling he's going to be going from the right side there. I think it's just uh, taking out power cores, uh, power cells and so on and so forth. So I thought it was a little bit more interesting. Apparently it is not. Maybe I, I got to show you some more gameplay footage of, of him in the future. Then we got uh, Agu. Actually didn't take out anything. Then we got Caleb. And uh, Caleb is not really, I haven't seen him attack a whole lot of times, but as you guys can see, there's not a whole lot of attacks left in order to take out this base. I'm really curious to know how we're going to go ahead and do that. So he drops one smoke. Um, actually make sure that the Zookas are secured. Do they get exposed? Yeah, they do for a split second. And a majority of them actually do get wiped out from the, from the back line. So as you guys can see, he's making his way up to the base uh, slowly but surely. Ooh, his, uh, Zookas get exposed a split second too early where he in Brazil loses a few more Zookas. And luckily that boom cannon is targeting onto the heavy so that way um, he's not going to be losing even more Zookas than he already has. Rocket launcher starts firing, gets into play as well and he's still, uh, you know, maintaining himself. And all of the heavies right now are gone. It's just the Zookas right now. I actually managed to take out one of the cannons and is leaving that boom cannon with half amount of health and the flamethrower as well so let's just see what the uh, other people have been doing here sorry if the game's kind of like acting up from time to time after Caleb it was actually a uh, swag phantom who actually took out one power core or one building one power core if only what building did he take out I'm curious to know are you by any chance going to be going for the cannon? Yes, it seems that you are. And then I assume doing some damage. No, not even that. Not even that. Still, that cannon was a very nice takeout because essentially we needed that in order to make our way through there. Joseph then going with only Zookas. Now that's going to be interesting because I'm really curious to know what he's going to be taking out. I kind of have the feeling, if I can make a guess here, that's going to be the boom cannons. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see about that. Just drop them smokes. So that way you can make your way up to the base. They're a little bit slower than the heavies are. So right now they get exposed and he drops another correctional smoke screen in order to secure the 
safety of his Zookas. Drops an additional one just to be 100% sure. And there you go, the Orchestra of Zookas. All right, now firing away onto the Flamethrower and onto the Boom Cannon. Boom Cannon gets taken out. Then he drops a Correctional Flare in order to actually make his way up to the Boom Cannon. Will the Rocket Launcher start firing away? It doesn't seem that it's going to be the case. Actually, he takes out the Flamethrower. And it seems that he's also going to be in the ability to take out the Boom Cannon. All he needs is, I think, one more shock in order to, for that to make uh, for that to happen. And as you guys can see, he's actually doing the work right now. He is actually going for the kill right now, taking out the boom cannon and doing a ton of damage onto this power core. So let's just see who was the lucky guy actually taking out this base because obviously he did not have enough time in order to take out the base. So it was Jade Guts actually taking out this base with the uh, Zuka and Rifleman and that is a strategy that I see way more often these days, especially when it comes down to taking out a lot of these power cells over here or when you have the distance to actually take out the base. Um, a uh, troop combination like this can be very effective but it's very fragile but it's already known to be the, 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 the strategy of massive destruction oh that was kind of unfortunate right there uh that flamethrower in the back over here actually managed to get a lot of damage onto the troop combination but as you guys can see the zookas are still in good shape right now actually they're in a good enough shape to actually take out the base and take the win here on gambit so that is how we took out gambit and that's how we took out paradox and in a couple of seconds or maybe just 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two one a very slow one and boom there you go that is gambit being gone uh, very nice attacks of our task force members but what we're noticing once again is that not a whole lot of people are actually attacking with the exception of Captain Jajo right now on Operation Stronghold but let's actually summarize what we did here so we actually managed to take out uh, Paradox here thanks to AI Games and the rest of the uh, members attacking on Paradox and of course on Dredge we actually needed how many attacks to take it down I don't think we needed that much um, we needed one from Setby over here uh, Jack Rambo one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attacks on Dredge, which is uh, pretty much average. So very nice takedown there whatsoever. 31 attacks only though. That is quite unfortunate because if all of the task force members were attacking, we would have possibly taken out an additional base or maybe even a fourth one. So that's going to be concluding this episode of Operation uh, Foxtrot. Unfortunately, I cannot show you guys the base because we already got started on Operation Stronghold. I'm a little bit late with recording this episode and for that I apologize. But still, hope you guys regret enjoyed regardless we got 364 force points on this episode and if you guys want to be checking out the results or the uh prizes that i'm going to be getting make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode of the task force tour so for now i want to thank you guys so much for watching and as always make sure that if you guys like this video to boom give it a thumbs up that being said this has been reverse of boom beach i'm going to be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one